Hey guys, hope you're doing good today. This is Mike from AltcoinTradingSignal.com and I'm here today to help you set up CryptoSite, which is a profitability tracker for GunBot. And what they call it is a Telegram bot because what you do is you sign on Telegram and you pretty much request information from your bot via Telegram. And this is nice because the bot actually keeps track of your profits and shows all of your trades and you could download telegram on your phone so you could see exactly when your bot makes the trades and you could always know exactly what your bot is doing so that's why I like this uh, the software a lot but before I get started I just want to go over some of the services that I offer see I run a website that offers cryptocurrency trading signals so if you're interested in anything like that or would like to know some of the past results that I've achieved then just uh, take a look at some of the other videos in my YouTube channel so now let's go ahead and get started because I know you just want to get this out of the way. So number one would be to contact your reseller and buy CryptoSite. Now if you bought GunBot recently, I now see that CryptoSite is included with GunBot. So just ask your reseller for the license key so we can move on to the next step right here. Okay, so now that you have your license key, go ahead and go to your Telegram and search up here at Gunthy underscore bot dot com and then click on the name right here. It brings up this chat. Now, I've already done this before, so I'm going to scroll up and I'm just going to show you uh, exactly what I've done in the past. So right away you're going to notice a little blue bar here that says start. So when you click start, it automatically types it in for you. And then this is an automated message that you receive. Uh, it says what's your license key? And then that's when you see I added my license key, which I'm sure is blurred out right now, of course. Now I'm going to scroll down in sections so it makes it a lot easier to uh, blur out my information. So bear with me here. Okay, now after I gave the bot my uh, license, as you can see, it says activating license. And it looks like for some reason I did slash start again. I don't think I had to do that. Um, click agent right here, get agent, and then you get these files below. So then what you want to do is take them, drag them on your desktop. Okay, so step three, activate Gunthy bot. We already did that. And then type slash start again and then click agent so we did that as well as you can see right here slash start get agent so now this is the end of gunbot helping you with this now you minimize this and you go in these help instructions right here and now this is where it becomes confusing so that's why I decided to make this video and actually help people install this let me go ahead and minimize this for a second now what's very important is these files have to be on the exact same computer that GunBot is installed and working on. So if you have GunBot on your virtual private server, then you have to have a crypto site installed on your virtual private server. Right now I'm using a Windows VPS, so I'm going to follow these instructions right here. It says to copy these three files into the C. Not C Windows, not C Win. So it's very strict about where it wants them. So let's go ahead and just follow the instructions correctly. So C. Now what I'm going to do is take these two files, continue, continue, and then this one right here, continue. Now most of you are using Windows, so uh, that was the instructions right there. But if you're using Linux or Mac, you're going to have to follow these instructions. Okay, now step two is it's important to install Notepad++ and then Visual C++ Redistributable. And it gives you these two links where you can download them from. Okay, once those are uh, downloaded, we have to fill in the configuration file. Now the configuration file is going to be this file right here, agent slash config. So once you download uh, Notepad++, Notepad++ plus plus, you can right click on it and see it says edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. Okay, now we have to fill this in. So first it wants to know where's GunBot located because that's where it's going to uh, connect to. So let me go ahead and minimize this. Go to where my GunBot is installed. It's installed in this folder right here. And it wants to know where the Gunthy is actually located, the Gunthy exe. Now it doesn't want the actual file, it just wants the folder it's in. So uh, let's go up to this address bar and click it. And then as you could see, you could, uh, you could see the full address is what we need. Now for some reason when you click it, 
it didn't pop up, you could also just right click and uh, copy address. Alright, so let's go back to the data source, space, and then paste that in. Now this next step, I'm not sure if you exactly have to do, but I just do it on the safe side. Um, if you run GunBot, then you know it creates the setup folder, and then within the setup folder, there's another Gunthy. So just in case, I click this one as well, copy, and put that as the next data source. Alright, so data source is done, let's scroll down. Now we need the Telegram token. It says, put the token you obtained from at bot father. So let's go back to Telegram. First copy this. Copy. Go back to Telegram. Paste it in up there. Talk to bot father. Uh, let me scroll up because like I mentioned, I've already done this before. I believe this was the same thing. When I clicked it, there was a button that said start and it automatically typed that for me. And then what I did was forward slash new bot. Then as you can see, it asks what you want to call the bot. Then for some reason you have to do it one more time, but this time with the word bot after it. You see, as you, as you can see, it says right there. And then after that, you get your uh, token. See, I'll scroll down, and then here's the token it gave me right here. So what you want to do is copy this. Delete that text. And then paste it in right there. Right, select your base coin, Bitcoin, you can leave that. I right, leave that as true. Now what's optional now is for you to add API keys. Now by doing this, it's able to pull in data via your API keys, so I do recommend you do this. All right, now as you can see, I just added my API keys in. Now, these you never want to show anyone, especially your secret. So as you can see, I just showed mine, so this is basically compromised. So right when this video gets done, these will be deleted, so don't even try. So then this agent config file is now done. So go ahead and uh, go up to file, click save. Okay, so now we just finished uh, step three and we gotta go to step four, which is installing the crypto site. So uh, let's go back to C drive. Go ahead and click on the install package. Click on Windows. Um, extract all. I think I have to extract it first actually. All right, just to be sure, let me go back. Yep, it just took a zip file and extracted it into a folder. So we're going to go to the folder now. Click on Windows. Run it anyways. Just for me. Now because this talks so much about installing it directly to C, just to be on the safe side, I just put it directly in C. So C colon forward slash crypto site agent install. Again, that might not be necessary, but I don't want to do some trial and error, so I'd rather just get it right the first time. All right, click finish and go back into the C. Now when you do that, you're going to notice now crypto site agent, and this is what was installed. So go ahead and click on crypto site agent. And then now here, as you can see, here's a blank agent config. So what we want to do is go back and then we want to take our agent config that we were working on earlier and drop it in there. And then it's going to ask you to replace it. That's what you want to do because we, you know, we edited that information, so we want our information there. So go ahead and click replace file, continue. And also take the activation key and throw that in that same folder. Okay, next step is to turn on GunBot, so let me do that real quick. Now, why I mentioned before the instructions weren't too good last time was because that's basically it. That's all it tells you to do. But the re <laughs> but the thing is, it never actually told you to put that information inside your gun bot. So I basically had to figure that information out on myself. So um, that's what I'll go ahead and do right now. So open up gun bot. Go into settings. Go into bot. Then scroll all the way down. Then go ahead and turn on telegram notifications. Go back to Telegram, go to the bot father conversation you were having, copy back down your token, type in your token here. For the nickname, go ahead and scroll up in the same chat. Now the nickname is going to be the one with the bot at the end of it, so the second one. So nowhere in the instructions does it mention anything about chat ID. So how you get this is you go back to Telegram and you contact this person, at user info bot. It's going to be the same thing. Right when you contact it, you click start, 
and then it issues you a user ID number and then you copy that number and you put it right up here now once that's loaded in you click save okay so now I'm going to go ahead and run the bot with the telegram information added into the configuration file within gunbot so uh, I click run gunbot okay so now that gunbot's working let's go ahead and activate the crypto site so go ahead and go to the, the start button down here and type in crypto usually the first thing that comes up is crypto site agent that's what you want to click on just wonderful alright so apparently I did something wrong so let me close out of this and take a look at the folder one second crypto agent maybe this activation key has to be outside in the C folder that might have been what they were talking about so what I'm going to actually do is go in and just copy both of them I'm not moving them I'm copying them so that they're in both locations so now I got the activation key and our edited agent config file outside but also inside so hopefully this works I didn't just waste a bunch of time making this video. Let's see. Okay, great. <laughs> it's working. All right, so now as you can see, here's our username, and that's what we selected right here. So now we want to go back to Telegram and then contact this username right here. Like that. All right. And as you can see, I've already been communicating with it, so I'm going to click it. Let me scroll up to the very top. So it looks like the same thing, you just forward slash start. I'll do it again. When you do forward slash start, I believe this box pops up over here. And then now when you do a trade, it automatically goes in this chat box. So if you had this running and Gunbot was making trades, then you can click something like profit, pick on the exchange, and then it would have gave me profits. I could do things like balance, which then gives me a balance of all the coins I have in my Binance account. All right, guys, so that's it. Now CryptoSite is up and running. Now, if you have any questions or would like to see any other review videos or setup videos, then go ahead and post in the comments, and I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and look into it for you. Also, if you'd like some more information on my cryptocurrency signals, I have a link in the description that directs you to my website so you could see uh, some of my past trades. All right, guys, have a good day.